Our region is only as strong as the communities within it, and the basic truth is the foundation once and for all. It's a comprehensive effort led by Beyond Housing to transform our many under-resourced communities to move our entire region forward. The Midwest Bank Center is another organization that understands the importance of creating greater prosperity in our under-resourced communities to grow the entire region's economy. And the two organizations have been close partners for 10 years, and today we're excited to have Wes Burns from the Midwest Bank Center Center as our guest. Wes, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. We're excited that you're here. You're doing important work. And Wes is the Executive Vice President of Community and Economic Development with a long background in history and banking. So we're, we're again, ecstatic that you're here today. Yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the Midwest Bank Center and how they've worked so closely with Beyond Housing for the past few years. Yeah, so Beyond Housing and Midwest Bank Center, we're celebrating 10 years of partnership this year. We, we established a branch in, in the Pagedale community in, in, in association with Beyond Housing uh, a decade ago, and it's been extremely successful. We've brought a lot of access to capital to the community that is so well deserving of, of progress and succession. So, um, you know, the missions of the two organizations are so well aligned when you really think about uh, who we're serving. You know, we are very uh, customer centric in our mission. They're very people centric in our mission. And when it comes to uh, establishing community and economic growth, it really takes both capital and, and progress. Absolutely. And when we talk about Beyond Housing and really kind of hitting on all the different aspects that Beyond Housing is working with, we continue to hear the word access over and over again. Mm -hmm. You just said it. Why do you think this branch in Pagedale has been so successful? Well, I think the, the, the success of the branch and really the su success of any business in that community is a reflection of the success of the community. So if you look back 10 to 15 years ago, that community, as, as are many other communities, were in, was in need of access to housing, access to health care, access to, uh, to banking services, access to, uh, to quality education, regardless of zip code, right? So it's, uh, it's, it's just very important to reflect on uh, what has been provided to that community, uh, but more so how responsive the community has been to growing collectively. I, I was able to attend the Pagedale Community uh, Festival in late September and it was just wonderful walking around seeing the spirit of community growing. Oh, I love that. That just makes my heart warm, <laughs> warm and fuzzy. And Wes, you also are leading, well, the Midwest Bank Center is leading a bold $200 million investment into the under-resourced communities inside of the 24-1 community over the next five years. Tell us about that. I guess over the past five years. Yeah, so so we are committing to a, a to bringing access to capital in the, to the tune of $200 million to the communities that have uh, historically been marginalized and disinvested in. Um, and those are traditionally the 24-1 kind of communities in our North City and North County area. And what that means is, is not just bringing an open checkbook and writing, uh, making contributions to that community. What that really means is it's uh, transformational, educational, uh, informative uh, information that we're bringing to the community. So first time home buyers that are really uneducated in how they become a home buyer, um, those services are provided by Midwest Bank Center. And if someone's looking to expand or grow a business, it's, uh, it's working with them to explain how capital can be accessed and what they need to do in order to be successful in three to five years. And it, it's really multiplying that ac accessibility that we've talked about. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a, lot of, uh, a lot of training, a lot of education, a lot of development, um, but it's so well deserved in our community. And I love what you said. It's more than just writing down a number on a checkbook. It's making sure that people in this community are educated and not only educated but informed and in making sure that they can continue to build wealth through home buying right. and make just setting and laying a foundation for future generations mm -hmm. to come. Right. So Wes, thank you so much for being here with us today. We appreciate it. If you are interested in learning more about the Midwest Bank Center's values-based approach to banking and commitment to St. Louis, all you have to do is head to their website at Midwest bankcenter.com. All that information is right there on your screen. You can also learn more about Beyond Housing's once and for all campaign and mission by visiting their website at dearloo.org or beyondhousing.org. Don't go anywhere. We'll have a lot more Studio STL in just a few minutes.